No longer any doubt about Zika. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention confirms what many scientists have been suggesting for months. I think it really helps us by being able to say that Zika causes or is a cause of microcephaly and serious brain defects, that we can be more clear in our messaging and we can really focus our research into the important remaining questions. The World Health Organization is on the same page. Last week, it came to a similar conclusion, blaming Zika for a range of complications that may affect pregnant women. The virus is also linked to neurological problems in adults that can result in paralysis. We've seen that there's three major factors responsible for transmission of Zika virus. First and foremost, the, having the Aedes aegypti mosquito there. Uh, second, crowding, urban crowding. And third is extreme poverty. Wherever you have the confluence of those three factors, the mosquito, the crowding, and the poverty, we've seen devastating Zika outbreaks. That's why Haiti's going to get hit, and that's why I think the Gulf Coast of the U.S. is also vulnerable. Brazil is at the epicenter of the Zika outbreak. It's confirmed more than a 1,000 cases since last October. The health emergency has spread to at least 41 countries and territories, most of them in the Americas. But while alarm is growing fast, response has been slow. In the United States, political wrangling continues to stall a White House request for funding. You may be familiar with the expression of being a day late and a dollar short. Uh, in this case, Congress is two months late and $1.9 billion short in providing the assistance that our public health professionals say that they need. Identifying Zika as a cause is just the first step. There are several outstanding questions researchers are trying to address. What is the full spectrum of the disease? Can it cause further birth defects? And perhaps most pressing, how to treat and cure a Zika infection? Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.